Sign training is equation number seven. Let me start you off on this one. I'll help you along with this one. Again, you could pause at any stage and see if you can carry on if you're stuck. Uh, have a look at the video. So, first of all, again, 3 divided by y is far more likely to be written as 3 over y like that. And 2 divided by y is more likely to be written like that, plus that. So, that's the way you're likely to see it written. Now, this isn't how you'd write it, but this is another way that you could think of it. Of course, this means 3 divided by y is the same as times 1 over y plus 2 divided by y is the same as 2 times 1 over y plus 1. That's a common little step that um, needs maybe a little bit of explanation. And it uses the general rule that a divided by b is equivalent to a times 1 over b. If I think of um, 6 divided by 3, that's the same as a third of 6, or 6 times a third, isn't it? You think of it like that. So a third of 6 is the same as 6 divided by 3. In the same way, a divided by b is the same as a times 1 over b. And I've just used that here. And if you think of it like that, then that helps you to see that actually 1 over y is common to both of those terms here. So I could take 1 over y outside the bracket, factorise in other words. What have I got to times 1 over y by to get 3 times 1 over y? 3. What have I got to times 1 over y by to get 2 times 1 over y? 2. Plus one. So now you can see that, in fact, we can now add the 3 plus the 2 to get 5. 5 times 1 over y, or 5 over y plus 1. Another way to think of it is just to think of this 1 over y as a term, which could be something else like a. So we've got 3 lots of 1 over y plus 2 lots of 1 over y gives us 5 lots of 1 over y or 5 over y. So that's a little bit awkward, that step. 